Hey everybody, this is Brian and welcome to the 16th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Today we're going to be covering the Q line edit control. You've already worked with buttons, so we're going to actually use a button here. You know what a button is, and we're going to put this little guy to work here and we'll say, you know, once again, click me. And we want the line edit control, which is a text box if you're coming from the C Sharp Visual Basic world, or even in some cases Java. And let's just position those around a little bit. And if you're kind of wondering, you know, if your form's looking something like this, how you can clean that up, just right click your, your dialog, go to layout, and then just choose a layout that's appropriate. For example, you can choose the uh, layout horizontally. And you notice how your icon changes. And that way, this will always be laid out, and it'll auto size itself too. Um, I recommend you go back and watch the layout tutorials. I think it was. Uh, uh, tutorial 8 horizontal and vertical layouts very simple to understand all right let's focus on the line edit here you notice how it's got some properties for example text um, it's got like a max length things like that max length is so you don't get uh, buffer overflow if somebody doesn't try to put a bajillion characters in here and crash your program and make it do something it shouldn't echo mode normal um, you can set like password etc stuff like that you know when you type in a password you get the little dots we're just gonna leave that at normal and let's actually work with this. So right click the button, go to slot, and we're just gonna you know create the click slot. And we're gonna say UI oops line edit, because that's the name of the control. And we're gonna say set text. And you just add the text in here. And let's run this. It may take a second to compile. My computer's doing five other things. And notice how you can type in there, and when you click the button, remember our conversation about signals and slots, ta-da, changes to hello world. So that is the line edit in a nutshell. Um, one thing you might be wondering is how do you get the text out of here? Well, very simply, you can also say, you, you know what the Q message box is. So we'll use one of those, and we'll say, information you've seen this before shouldn't be anything too overly from uh, alien to you and let's say and we're just going to get the UI line edit dot text there we go that's so when we click this it's going to when we click the button sorry it's going to set the text and then we're going to pop open a message box with the text let's run this And you can see, there you go. Now let's uh, comment this out. And we're going to flip back in here. I want to show you the password echo. Echo mode, set this to uh, password. Save it, and let's go back in here. Just uh, remember, you've got to comment this out right here for this to really work in this tutorial. Otherwise, you might get some funky results here. Let's run this and just type a few characters. That would be your password and just say click me and there's the characters you type. So we could say uh, my cat is bad. <laughs> so no that's not my real password uh, but I'm not going to tie up my password. <laughs> You'll have to guess. But This is Brian. I hope you found this video educational and entertaining and uh, thank you for watching.